So Instagram Reels is what's on the market right now and you don't know how to use them, you don't know how many to use, and you don't know if using them is actually benefiting you or actually hurting you. Well stick around because in this video I'm gonna walk you through exactly what you need to know about how to use hashtag for Reels on Instagram specifically. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Jen Marilla, and this YouTube channel is for entrepreneurs who are trying to grow on social media. Today, we're gonna talk about how to use hashtags specifically just for Reels. Now, we all know that Reels is brand new. We're probably about, what, four or five months in since Instagram released Reels on their platform, and they have changed the algorithm so many times. They've been testing it. But this goes without saying that Instagram Reels is where you need to be if you are trying to grow on Instagram 1000%. Like, no, you shouldn't be just posting and you know doing infographics and just being in stories. Like, you have to be in Reels. Reels, it's where it's at. Today, I'm really gonna dive into the hashtag strategy behind Instagram Reels and how it's totally different from the hashtags you would normally post on your Instagram post. All right, now before we dive into it, I wanna make sure that you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button because that really helps my channel and this is why I make these videos for just for you guys and I'm super grateful for you guys. So please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell because I download these videos every single week and that just really helps my channel grow and obviously like, I love this. The second thing I'm gonna tell you guys is go check me out on Instagram because I'm always on there live. I'm in the stories every single day and if you guys have any questions about this video, I want you guys to either head over there and ask me or I want you to drop in the comments below your questions and the first 24 hours of this video I will personally answer all your questions that have to do with Instagram so make sure you go ahead and do that again if you're seeing it later on and then you just want to head to the stories on Instagram and I and shoot me a DM all right so let's dive into it so the first thing I want to say about Instagram right is that you should be on reels it doesn't matter if you are an influencer a coach a business an e-commerce site like you need to be creating content on reels. You need to do it fun. There needs to be interactive. They need to be different. They need to be inspiring. Like you want to have fun with reels. That is the most important thing about reels and posting hashtags in your reels versus when you do in posts are two different strategies, right? When you post hashtags in your post, you want to use anywhere between 25 to 30 hashtags. You can check out this video here where I dive more deep into that because that's literally a whole other video. But for reels, you want to keep it simple. And I'm going to dive into that in just a second, but I want to make sure that I hit some bullet points for you guys. When you post on Instagram posts, you post, some people usually post the hashtags in the comments or in the descriptions. And specifically for reels, it needs to be in the description. Let me say that again. Instagram hashtags for reels needs to be in the description. It needs to be in the description for two reasons. One, you're telling the algorithm exactly who you want your audience to be, to be watching your videos. And number two, your the algorithm is actually quicker to pick up the hashtags, especially because Instagram is only pushing reels right now and they're pushing reels fast, okay? With that being said, you wanna make sure you pick anywhere between eight to 10 hashtags between 100,000 and a million. Yes, I know that sounds super broad, but you wanna do that specifically because you want the algorithm to pick up the hashtags that are being used and specifically within your industry. And don't worry, I'm gonna dive deep into what hashtags you need to pick and which ones are going to be the best one, but you're gonna have to stick around to the end of this video, all right? You wanna make sure that you're not using the same eight to 10 hashtags for all your reels, that's number one. And number two, you wanna make sure that your hashtags are related to the content that you're creating. For example, if you start doing reels about cats, don't put hashtag dogs. Like the algorithm's gonna think you're spam, like people are gonna get upset, just don't do it, period. Now, the reason why hashtags and reels are so important right now and you wanna use them and you wanna use them hard and I keep literally like pounding my fist, like you need to use them because it's giving you an opportunity to grow. Just like TikTok right now is the platform that everybody's going for in order to grow their audience, to reach more people, because that's what TikTok is really good at right now. The same way Instagram is using reels. And so trying to be like the authority in your niche, in your space, using very specific hashtags for Instagram is exactly what you wanna be doing right now. Now, the way that you find your hashtags, it's actually three very simple steps. But the first thing I wanna mention is that you need to make sure that the hashtag is a sponsored hashtag. And the, the way you can figure that out is just by this right here. When you look up a hashtag, it should kind of look like this one right here. If it doesn't have this, then just don't use the hashtag. And I'll repeat that again. If the hashtag is not a sponsored hashtag, then just don't use the hashtag. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look up your niche and then you're gonna make sure that the hashtag is being sponsored by Reels. If the hashtag is being sponsored by Reels, then I would go and click on the very first post that is 
shown up as number one. And I would look at the first five, that's what I would do. But I would pick the first one and I would look at the reel for the first one and I would look at the hashtags that are being used for that reel and I would choose eight to 10. I would go to the next four reels and see if there are similar hashtags that are being used within that same page, right? So there you guys have it. You have literally the exact steps that I use to pick my eight to 10 hashtags between 100,000 to a million. Now, the last two things I want to mention before we exit here, okay? I get asked this question all the time in my Facebook community. So this is a free community that I have for entrepreneurs who are trying to grow on social media. And you guys can actually click in the description below to join. Again, this is a free platform. But the question I get asked all the time is, can I create my own hashtag? Is that really good for my business? No. Like the two things you do not want to do is right now on reels is not use hashtags at all. Like you need to use eight to 10 hashtags. You're doing, you're actually damaging your brand by not using hashtags. And the second thing is that you do not need to make up your own hashtag. That no longer works anymore. Unless you're a huge brand like McDonald's or Burger King or I don't know, Apple. It like using your own hashtag is absolutely irrelevant. So don't make up your own hashtag. All you have to do is find the hashtag that is related to your niche. And I would use that hashtag. And again, you want to look at the first five reels and check their hashtags and choose eight to 10 of those hashtags. You guys, you want to make sure that you're saving these hashtags in your notebooks or somewhere on your phone that are easily accessible for you so that you can copy and paste it and use it in your reels when you actually need to. Okay, so there you guys have it. You have my best tips for using hashtags for reels on Instagram. Again, you guys, you definitely wanna use hashtags for reels. Like reels right now is exactly where it's at and Instagram is pushing content hard. Do not waste that opportunity. You wanna be anywhere between eight to eight months from now to a year from now and you wanna have use or own a hashtag within your niche and this is the best way to do it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And like I mentioned earlier, give me a comment below if you have any questions. I answer all these questions within the first 24 hours once this video drops. But until next time, I will see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.